everyone and welcome to another episode of the Jamie Hughes Show. My name as always is Jamie Hughes and today I'm going to be giving you my review of Zombieland Double Tap. And as always my videos this review may include spoilers so you have now been warned. So Zombieland Double Tap is just so much fun. I'm so glad this movie is finally here. It felt like it was never going to get made. I'm such a fan of the original and yeah... It warms my heart to say that Zombieland Double Tap is just so, so much fun. It is ridiculous. It's over the top. It's just balls to the wall, swinging for the fences, just a hundred minutes of pure fun. I really, really enjoyed this movie. Now, don't get me wrong. It does, as I say, it swings for the fences a lot and sometimes it doesn't really pay off. But for the majority of this movie, it was just so much fun it was really great to see the original cast back and that was kind of what we got from the off really was this really nice familiarity with the original characters and then the story starts to change and progress and that was one of the things that i really really liked about this movie is that it felt like everything had evolved in a way i know we got the obvious thing with the zombies and i love that i love the fact that these zombies kind of ha were introduced more as characters in this movie rather than just like oh by the way here's some zombies that we're gonna kill in the most ridiculous ways possible don't get me wrong we had that but we also had more of an elevated threat with the zombies too uh, especially the t-800s and I've got to say, that moment where Tallahassee is staring there, the T-800 that they see for the first time down, and he goes to shoot him, and he dodges the bullets, I was like, whoa. Like, they have kind of elevated this to another level, and it kind of feels like you do have that element of, of risk to these characters this time round, because that was a big ne negative I did have in the first movie, is that, yeah, it's a fun, light comedy, but it did feel like... A lot of the like the main characters, they were just safe, do you know what I mean? They weren't going to die. And I like the fact that we got a lot more risk with these characters. Yes, it's still a, a fun, like, comedy, but there were moments where I genuinely started to question whether one or all of the main characters were going to meet their grisly end in this movie. So I'm glad that they took the risk. I'm glad that they elevated the risk. And another great reason, and probably the main reason why I love this movie so much, is Woody Harlson as Tallahassee. He's brilliant in the first movie. I think it's even better this time round in Double Tap. And I really liked what they did with the character here is that they very much changed it up a little bit he really felt like the lead in this movie whereas obviously in the in the first film he's kind of the side sidekick to um jesse eisenberg's columbus and it felt very much like the other way around and we got to see a lot more depth with his character and we got to see a loads more like different dynamics to him as well you know we got to see him kind of flirting with women we got to see him have a little bit more of a softer side and a more um, paternal side with little rock but then also on top of that the main reason why we love him he just has so many great one-liners and funny little jokes like great little visual gags too the fact that he's now trying to top his uh, his own record you know he won the zombie kill of the year it was all just ridiculous fun and it mainly centered around Tallahassee's character oh and it was brilliant so just a really quick additional spoiler warning here before my next point if you guys did like Bill Murray's performance in the first movie then you are gonna absolutely love his inclusion in this movie even if you go and see this movie and you don't like it you will absolutely love Bill Murray's cameo during the end credit scene it was just so much fun again just so over the top and ridiculous and it just oh i just had the biggest grin on my face just watching bill murray taking out zombies left right and center it was absolutely brilliant but then on the opposite of that there were some things that didn't work in this movie and as i said it definitely swung for the fences did it work all the time I don't think so. I think that the ending of the movie, like the kind of the Babylon concept, really wasn't that great. I think there were so many other routes they could have gone with it. It just felt a little bit out of place for the movie. And also, kind of my biggest issue with the film as well is the inclusion of the Tallahassee and Columbus doppelgangers because... I don't know, that kind of felt a little bit cheaper because we've seen it done so well before um, in Shaun of the Dead. That is what that kind of gag is synonymous with and I thought it was a risk for them to do it. And it didn't really add anything else to the story. We got a few little laughs, but that those two characters could have literally been anybody else 
in the world and it would have been fine. So yeah, maybe the doppelgangers was kind of just a, a bad choice on the on the writer's part. But overall, I absolutely loved Zombieland Double Tap. It was so much fun. Just over the top, ridiculous. It was everything I wanted it to be, and that is what was so great about this movie. So if you guys have seen Zombieland, double tap. Let me know what you thought about it. It's always down in those comments below. And if you did enjoy this video and you want to keep up to date with all the latest movie news and reviews, then make sure you hit that subscribe button. And as always, I will see you in the very next episode of The Jamie Hughes Show. Ta-ra! Mm -hmm.